okay hello everyone so in this session we will discuss about evaluation of ace attributes either bottom up or top down approach so syntax related translations can be implemented using classes of stds stds nothing but syntax related definitions that guarantee an evaluation order since they do not permit dependency graphs in cycles means syntax related translations on classes of stds are do not permit dependency graphs with cycles so which these two are classes so the two classes and rows in the sections can be implemented if you simply in connection with top down or bottom up bottom up parsing means for that two classes we use top down as well as bottom up parsing techniques so there are the two classes for the evaluation of s attribute as well as uh, so for evaluation of the attributes so the first is s attribute the second is l attribute so s attributed and ssd is S, S attributed if every attribute is synthesized, means and each and every attribute having some attribute and its values. And second is L attribute definitions. So L attribute definitions we calculated uh, attribute values from the child uh, itself, or we call it the parents form. So let me discuss one by one. S yes, attributed. So an SDD is S attributed if every attribute is synthesized. Means each and every attribute having some its value and that calculated from either its child or itself. So for example, the SDD is synthesized uh, definition of our first example means the grammar produces T produces uh, sorry E produces E plus T like by this grammar. So in that grammar, each and every attribute means each and every productions. Having attribute value is a synthesized means we calculated the value for L, E, T, and F. So it is one class of evaluation of attributes. So when an SDD is S attributed, we can evaluate its attribute by any bottom up order of the nodes of the parse tree. Means we have to evaluate its attributed uh, uh, values by bottom up approach. It is often especially simple to evaluate the attribute. By performing a post-order traverse on the parse tree and evaluating the attributes at a node n with the traverse leaves n for the last time. Means just we have to use one technique of traverse within the post-order. And by using that the post-order traverse, we have to evaluate the attributes in a bottom-up manner. Here. So what is the post-order here? So that is we apply the function post-order define below the root of the parse tree. Means we have to apply this. Post order function on the root of the parse tree. So the post order function, so there are the one kind of travels that we in order, post order, and pre order. So we have to use a post order. That means first we have to uh, take as a root, then child, and then operator. Uh, sorry, operator, etc. So post order functions likewise for we have to for we have to pass each child C of n from the left. We have to move. And likewise, we have to calculate the attribute associated with the node. So second kind of attribute is nothing but the L attribute. So second class of SDD is called L attribute definitions. So the idea behind this class is that between the attributes associated with the production body, dependency graph, edges can go from left to right but not from right to left. Since it is the middle part of the attribute, means we calculate the value for the attribute by using the parents as well as the child and all we sent here. So for the calculation of the values or evaluating the values, in L attribute we have to go from L is nothing but left. Means we have to start from the left and go to the right side here. So more precisely, each attribute must be either means more expert description, each attribute must be either either the synthesized, no problem, no problem. But not all inherited attribute as a synthesized, because all synthesized attributes are inherited. So first is synthesized, means the attribute must be synthesized. Or second condition is an inheritor, but with the rules limited as follows. Suppose that there is a production, production is like that, it produces x1, x2, x2, and that there is an inherited attribute x i. This is that the consist inherited attribute x i. By rule associated with this production, then the rule may use only. So for the x i, we have to supply or we have to apply, or supply, sorry, we have to apply the following rules here. For the identification of the L attributes and validating for that purpose. So inherited attributes associated with the head A means we have to first apply that inherited attributes for the head A. 
either inheritant or synthesized attribute associated with the occurrences of symbols x1, x2 up to xi minus 1 labeled to the left of xi. This after the head evolution, we have to shift it to another attribute below the head, but we have to move from left to right. And last is nothing but inherited or synthesized attribute associated with the occurrences of xi itself. But only in a such way that there, is, there are no cycles in a dependency graph formed by the attributes of this XI. Means we have to calculate the value for each and every attributes. Means uh, itself values we have to calculate in the third part. But here is also condition that no cycles requiring dependency graphs are. So for example, the SDT in the figure 5.4 is L-attributed, means L-attributed there is an example. Here is the production, means left recursive grammar. To see why consider the semantic rule for in attribute which are repeated for the convenience production and that production has this semantic levels. The first of these rules defines the inherited attribute T dash dot in INH, I stands for here in active using only f value means by using f value we have to calculate the value for the t dash and f appears to the left t dash in the production body as it were simply we have to move left to right the second rule defines t1 dash dot inherited using the inherited attribute t1 inherited associated with the head and f dot value where f appears to the left of t1 dash in the production body so means for evaluating the values of the L attributed we have to move from the left to right here. One thing is to remember that key for terminal symbol there is not inherited in attribute, we have to apply it only in middle part or non-terminal symbols as a L attributed value here. So this is the point of how to evaluate S yes attribute as well as the L attribute by using top down or the bottom up manner. So for that, having the two classes, first we call key S attribute and second is L attribute. Maximum yes attribute will be evaluated by the bottom of manner. Likewise, we will discuss. Uh, sorry, likewise, we will discuss about how we evaluate L attribute as well as the yes attribute here. So, thank you.